Hi guys, this is Paul Price and today I want to talk to you about Rich Dad's cash flow game and why if you're a new investor, you need to learn how to play this. Before we get started, if you enjoy these videos and want to help us make more, please press the like button. Subscribe to our channel and press that bell for notifications so you know when we release new videos. Now let's get started. Rich Dad's cash flow game is a great way to learn for a new investor. This is a game that he originally developed and had it as a board game that you ordered from his website and he would send it to you and it was an actual board game with dice and just like Monopoly or something. Uh, now he's turned this into an electronic version which is available to play for free on his website. Now if you go to his website um, you do have to create a, a free account to log in and play the game but you can play this game for free and I'm gonna play it right now and I'm gonna show you a little bit about this game and why I think it's a good educational game to teach you how to get out of the rat race and how to go from having a regular job to having passive income to pay all your bills and so let's get started here uh, once you've created an account and logged in, you can go to the cash flow thing and just click anywhere. It's going to start the game. Uh, I'm going to start a new game here, and I'm going to say create a new room. And I'm going to type my name in. And then normally, you can, uh, if you want to play with specific people, uh, like you had a friend or something you want to pay, you can put in a password and tell them to go to the website, and then they can put that password in. So it allows you to have like a private game that you can just play with someone you know. If you want to play with just other people randomly, you can let it fill in these uh, these boxes here. Will automatically allow people to join. Um, I'm going to say I want one player, and I'm going to tell it to create the game, and uh, then that's going to. It's, I, I put my nickname in here as Rich, so it's going to show me as that on my player. But if you play one player, it allows you to learn the pace of the game and learn everything about the game without having to to, uh, to have to deal with other players. Because um, so, it's you know how it is when you're learning something, it's very frustrating to other people who know how to play already. So, and it's going to make things go faster and help you learn the game faster if you play by yourself. A couple things to note here. There's two tracks on this board. There's this inner circle, which is called the rat race. And on the rat race, you have three paydays. You have one here, one here, one here. These yellows are your paydays. Um, on the outside track, this big track, this is um, the cash flow track. And this is where you get, when you get out of the rat race, you go to run in this track. And that's where the bigger deals are and the big cash flow paydays are. And there you get paid cash flow on here, here, and here are your cash flow payouts there. So um, to start with here, we have to choose a dream. Now these dreams don't really don't really mean much in the fact that you know uh, it, you can choose any of them. It doesn't really matter. But uh, if I choose this one here, private fish, fishing cabin uh, on Montana Lake. Fish from the dock in a remote cabin to enjoy six months of solitude. Use a, a float plane included. The two ways to win the game are is if you're going around this track here and you land on this uh, cabin, which is, uh, I don't, it may be under this little thing right here, but uh, no, here it is. It's right here, the cabin. If I land on that, uh, then I get, uh, I win the game if I have enough money to buy that dream at the time I land on it. The other way you can win the game is to meet the cash flow goal which is given to you when you get out of the rat race and you get to the cash flow level you'll see a buy your dream or and it has a goal of how much cash flow you have to reach and if you reach that before you get a chance to buy your dream then you'll actually win the game as well. Since you are a nurse your starting salary is $3100 a month and you have $480 in savings, and your starting cash is $480. So I'm going to choose this as my dream. That's what I'm choosing. My job has already been picked for me. Um, I played this game uh, several times uh, in, in the last little bit here. Uh, I started out as a secretary one time with $2,500. I started out as an engineer making $4,900. This time I'm right in the middle at $3,100 as a nurse. 
the more you make the faster you'll usually get through the game because you'll build your cash flow faster uh, but the less you make the longer it takes but it also teaches you more because it's a little harder to get there when you're not making as much money and that's very very much like it is in the real world it doesn't matter whether you start as the secretary or as the engineer or whatever or a doctor or lawyer or whatever it gives you it just a matter it just maybe take a little bit longer to get there so I'm gonna start playing the game and I'm gonna to try to go through kind of slow in the beginning and then I'm gonna kind of speed it up because it, it it gets a little monotonous if I don't so I want to keep you interested here but start out by rolling the dice here and um, I landed on a payday uh, which means I got paid if you look here you can click on this repay and what this does is this tells you what's going on your cash flow uh, is, is three thirty one hundred dollars a month that's what you're making from your regular job as the nurse and you also have these expenses here you have taxes you have a mortgage you have a car loan credit card payments retail payment other expenses this is pretty much like real life you have real expenses here so if you take this and minus this you end up with this 1150 so this is my total income this is my total outgo and this is 1150 is my payday that's after so every time i get paid i, I collect this and i pay out this now the cash is how much cash I have in the bank. This is my my savings account basically. These are your assets. Anytime you buy an asset, it goes in this column. These are your liabilities. Right now, I've only got li I've only got liabilities except for this cash. So I don't really have any hard assets over here. It's only cash. Uh, what I can do though, as I can see here, that if I want to pay something off, um, I've got sixteen hundred dollars. I can pay off this retail debt. So I'm going to click on that. And it says, do I want to pay off this $1,000? I'm going to say yes. Now, if I pay that off, I'm going to go back here and look at that. That's gone. It also raised this right here a little bit because I was making $1,100. Uh, I can't remember, $1,100 or something. Now I'm making $1,200. So it went up a little bit. Whatever that payment over here, it went away and was added to this. And that's what's going to happen. Every time you pay something off here, it's going to in this payment's going to go away and it's going to increase your payday. So you want to try to pay those off as you can going through the game. Right now I'm left with $630. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to roll the dice and move forward. Okay, in real life this happens too. I got a new baby. My child expenses just increased by $170 a month. So that means over here I'm going to have an expense that's going to pop in. You're going to see this. I got a child that comes in $170 a month. Brings down my income. And that's what happens in the real world if you have kids. It Believe me, it takes money to raise them. I have two, so I understand that. In turn, roll the dice. Here we go. We got a condo buyer. Now, and this is a card. These are cards that pop up and tell you what to do and what, you know, either what to do or give you an opportunity to buy something or do something. In this case, there's somebody looking to buy condos. Well, it says right here, you have no assets that match this card. So I don't have any condos because I don't have any assets. So this card doesn't apply to us right now. It might later in the game, but right now it doesn't apply to us. So I'm going to say done, in turn, roll the dice. Okay, I landed on a payday, uh, got paid again. Go in here and you can see I've got $2,690. Uh, don't have quite enough to pay off the credit cards, but if I click on that, uh, no, it wants me to pay that whole thing off. Okay, so on sometimes if you got just a loan, you can pay off a partial payment. So you can pay off like a thousand dollars of the three thousand dollars. But on like your car loan and the credit card and the mortgage, you have to pay it all off at one time. So I don't have enough to pay it all off, so I can't really do anything at this time. So I'm going to in turn and roll the dice. Now here's the thing. I'm going to do this just to show you how this works. Uh, Thirty-one hundred dollars. You take give ten percent of your income to charity, and it allows you to get a. Uh, an opportunity to roll the dice either one or two dice you always want to roll two dice and the reason why is because you get a better chance of getting a higher number which allows you every time you pass one of these paydays which are here here and here you're gonna get paid so you get more money so that's the object of the game at this point to kind of build some cash flow landed on having another child here so that means I got another hundred and seventy that's gonna pop on here and I got paid. So let's see what happens. I'm going to repay, and you can see that other 170s now got two child, uh, two children. So it's 340 dollars now. And in turn, roll two dice again. Limited partner. Don't have any assets that match. So I'm going to go on. Roll the dice again. 
Okay, now these are going to come up quite often. These are deal opportunities. It says small deals are less than 5,000, big deals are more than 6,000 or more. Um, really, if you don't, if you have less than 10,000, you're probably going to want to choose a small deal. And I'm going to show you what happens here. You choose a small deal. Uh, this is a house for sale. If you have $4,000 to put down, you'll get $200 a month in cash flow on this three bedroom, two bath house. Um, that's a pretty good deal. So we're going to buy that house and um because i've got the cash to do it let's buy it and now i'm gonna go here just to show you when, anytime you hit the repay button it brings up this income sheet so you can kind of see what's going on um so you can see here now i've got an asset over here i got a fifty thousand dollar house but also i have a forty six thousand dollar loan on that house and uh then also i have a payment on that house if in and, and you'll see um you'll see it that well close that down there's, a, there's going to be a payment um, uh, tied to that, that house every month. And that cash flow is $200 passive income. There, there it is, the real estate house. There's the $200 a month uh, income. And then this is, this is my income from my job. This is the income from the house. Um, so uh, you can see here that I now have 1060 coming in a month. And so I'm going to end that and roll the dice again. Couldn't resist buying a new painting by a local artist. $200. So I'm out $200. Bucks, so I just pay and roll. Again, back to a small deal. Okay, now it says there is a... Uh, this is a stock. Now on these, here's what it's going to tell you. What the cost of the stock is. That's what it's currently trading at. What the cash flow is, which is normally going to be zero. This is the range that it normally trades in, five to forty dollars, and here's how many you own. I don't own any shares of it. So right now it's trading above what it normally trades for. So that's not the time to buy it. You always want to buy low and sell high on stock. So we're gonna pass on this. So okay, here we go, condo buyer. I don't have any condos, I don't so I don't have anything that matches this, so I can't do anything there roll dice small deal opportunity uh, friend needs quick cash will sell you 10 one ounce gold Krugerrands well below, well below the going rate for $300 each um, I don't have $3,000 and I don't know if I want to borrow money which I could to buy those but then I'm going to have a payment on them so I don't want to do that I'm just going to pass on that for right now roll the dice got paid uh, Go in here and look at this. Now I've got three thousand fifty dollars. I can pay off these credit cards. I'm going to do that. It's going to leave me with fifty bucks, which is not a whole lot of money. So I'm going to roll the dice. Ah, and when you know it, I got hit with a hundred dollars of expenses I don't have. So now, since I don't have enough money, I can only borrow money in, in increments of a thousand dollars. So it's going to make me borrow a thousand dollars to pay that one hundred, and then uh, I'm going to have a payment um, that I have to pay. So. Uh, but that's okay. We'll pay that off shortly. So we'll roll the dice again. Small deal. Uh, okay, this is another stock purchase. It's a $5 stock. It normally trades between 5 and 30 That would be a good price to buy at. So let's see what we can buy. Let's see if we buy... Um, well, I don't want to buy 1,000 shares, but let's see. Let's buy 200 shares. Uh, we can buy 200 shares for $1,000. Let's do that. And in turn, roll the dice. Now, if you look over here, now we have 200 shares at $5 a share. Um, that's just an asset added to us. It doesn't give us any additional cash flow. It's just something that we have and we're holding and we're hoping it's going to make some money for us at some point. Okay, right now we're going to go with another small deal opportunity. Now, uh, the same stock we just bought now is trading for $40 a share. Well, we just paid $5 a share for it. We've got 200 shares. We want to sell it. That's above the normal trading range. So that's going to be a great price to sell at. So if we sell this 200, all, we're going to sell all of them. Let's sell all of our shares for $8,000. So now we've got, um, we can go here and look at repayment. Now I've got $9,000 in here. And not only can I go back and pay off this uh, $1,000 loan I had to get, but I can also go in here and pay off my car loan. And if you look over here, see my car loan is $100 a month. When I pay this off, this $5,000, that $100 goes away. So now I'm up to making $1,250 a month. 
uh, from my cash flow and I've got just a few other expenses so now I'm going to cancel and turn roll the dice okay another small deal we've got a two for one split I don't own that stock so it does not matter in turn roll the dice another new baby oh man that's going to add more to my bottom line there in turn roll the dice so now I've got three kids taking $500 a month going to take a small deal condo for sale uh, that's uh, $5,000 gets me a $220 a month cash flow uh, don't quite have $5,000 but I'm going to try to buy this and see what happens here uh, so if I say I'm going to buy it I don't have enough money so I'll have to take out a thousand dollar loan to pay that extra which is going to be a hundred dollars a month it's already making me as you can see 220 so it's going to net me 120 a month so the, it's going to be a positive cash flow situation there so i'm going to do this so i'm going to say buy it and roll the dice so now if you look over here you'll see that i i do have that uh thousand dollar loan and i do have um the condo uh, I bought over here, and uh, and then I've got the liability for the condo of thirty-five thousand as well. So I can, I do have enough at this point. Um, I could pay off this loan here, and that was the thousand dollars I just borrowed because I just got paid. I can in turn roll the dice, um, downsized. Wow, when you know it. So this means I have to pay two hundred uh, twenty-two hundred and twenty dollars, which I don't have. So I'm going to have to borrow money, take out a loan. And I'm going to lose two turns. So I'm skipping my turn twice. Since I'm playing myself, it goes a little fast that way. Roll the dice. So now I've got another deal opportunity here. For $2,000, I can get a return of two fifty. dollars That's a pretty good uh, deal. I'm going to do that. Even though I'm going to have to borrow some money again, I'm going to do it. Uh, it's going to cost me $100 a month. But I'm going to still positive cash flow there. So I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to in turn roll the dice. Uh, another small deal opportunity. Uh, house for sale. Now here's an interesting one. Um, not lived in for six months. Bank foreclosed on this house. Loan uh, loan includes estimate repair cost. Cost fifty thousand dollars. Cash flow is a hundred dollars a month, and it's zero down. Will you be crazy not to do this one because it costs you nothing? And you're going to get a hundred dollars a month cash flow, plus you gain a fifty thousand dollar asset. So yes, we're going to do that. Now we're going to keep doing small deals here. Start a company part time, uh, five thousand dollars, zero cash flow, and down payment is five thousand. I don't want to do that because I don't have the cash right now, and I don't want to go into too much debt. So I'm going to pass on that right now. I'm going to in turn roll the dice. And sometimes you just have to do that. You have to wait uh, the opportunity cost, you know, versus borrowing the money and or whether you got the cash or whatever. On something like that, I would want to have the cash in hand. Okay, on here, this is the same thing. We're going to go back and look at uh, buying stock. It's on the high end. We don't want to buy it. We're going to pass. Small deal. 50 acres of raw, I mean, 10 acres of raw in, land for $5,000. Uh, I don't have the cash right now, so I'm going to pass on it. There's no cash flow involved. Um, stock selling high. Don't want to buy it. Let's go on. Downsized again. Cost me money. Turn skipped. Roll the dice. Back in turn, roll the dice. Um can donate eh, I'll do that again what the heck okay um, small deal uh, selling for 30 it's on the higher end I'm gonna pass on that for right now two dice again uh, let's see what type of deal small this is on the low end uh, so I'm gonna buy a few shares of this uh, let's buy a hundred shares for like a thousand dollars in turn roll the dice Bought a new cell phone cost me a hundred bucks roll the dice small deal I uh, don't have that stock so we're going to pass roll the dice. 
opportunity. Uh, that's not that great of a deal. We don't have it, so I'm going to pass. Roll the dice. Uh, roll the dice. Okay. okay, now here's a duplex buyer. I don't own any duplexes. And it says here I don't have, you have no assets that match this card set. I don't have anything I can do here. Um, so if I did, I could sell them the duplexes. But I don't have any, so. Uh, small deal. Okay, now here's where we got an interesting deal. This is a drug company. Okay for you drugs. Uh, it's $1 a share. Look at this. Uh, it normally sells from 5 to 40 Let's buy a bunch of this. And, I, and I'm just, this is where I like to take risk. So I'm going to go over here. Let's say, let's change that to a seven. Let's buy $7,000 worth because I'm, I'm going to spend most of my cash. And I'm just going to risk this. And see what Another small deal opportunity. Uh, sister in law borrows money. Needs $5,000. We'll pay you back ten after she finds a new job. Don't have it, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, and that's the way I would be in real life. Uh, more than likely. <laughs> So, uh, which deal do you want here? Small deal. Uh, don't own that. Um, kind of in the middle. Let's just pass on that part now. For a long. 20 acres for sale. Uh, or buyer wanting 20 acres, I'm sorry. Uh, don't have any of those assets. Move on. Roll the dice. Small deal opportunity. You can buy a rare gold coin for uh, 8 pieces of gold. Uh, about 500 bucks I'll, I'm going to buy it let's see what happens uh, roll the dice um, small. okay preferred stock I don't like these deals too much because it's usually too much money for not enough cash flow you're spending out $1200 uh, it's going to trade for around $1200 when you sell it and it's only going to give you $10 a month not worth buying so I'm going to skip on that Okay, I landed on child. I can, you can only have three in this game, so if you land on it again, you just it doesn't do anything for you. You just go on. Small deal opportunity. Okay, I can pay $2,000, which I do have, uh, to get $220 a month and pay $35,000 for this older three-bedroom, two, three two-bath house. So I'm going to do that. Definitely want to do that one. All the dice. Uh, demand for bed and breakfast. Couple... Uh, burned out from their corporate job, so ready for a change. Have lots of cash, looking for a profitable bed and breakfast. They will pay two hundred fifty thousand dollars today if you sell. Pay off the related mortgage. I have no assets to sell, so I don't have a bed and breakfast. So, but as you can see, as I generate these assets over here, you can see what I do have in assets. This is what they're bringing in per month. This is my passive income. Down here is also the assets on the balance sheet versus the liabilities against them. So downsized now uh, that's going to cost me money i don't have enough to pay it so i'm going to borrow money pay it and turn. turn's going to get skipped twice Roll the dice. Roll the so uh oh wait a minute let's see that uh went too fast on myself there four thousand dollars to get 140 uh i'm going to pass on that one for right now Roll. Plex buyer. I don't have any plexes. Let them roll on. No opportunity. Okay, this is selling for ten. It's between five and thirty. Let's buy a few shares of that just for the heck of it. Uh, let's buy like a hundred shares for a thousand bucks. We'll see what happens. Go to ball game. Pay fifty bucks. Roll the dice. Child again. Nothing happens there. Okay. Uh, small deal opportunity. Okay. Okay for you, drug. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a good one here. Uh, it just went to $5, which is on the low end of the scale. But we own 7,000 shares, so uh, we're going to make five times our money. So that's $35,000. Let's sell it. Okay, so now that we got a little bit of cash built up here, what I'd like to do is go ahead and uh, going to go here and yeah, let's go ahead and buy this. I'm going to repay this loan. Um, 
$4,000. Pay. And that roll again. Now that landed on a payday, so I got it paid. Um, you can see my payday is at $1,900 now. My passive income uh, is almost $1,100, so $1,090. Um, so we're getting along there. We're cruising. Rolling the dice. Small opportunity. Let's go to a big one because we've got over, 10, we've got plenty of money now. Let's see what we can get here. Fifty thousand dollars to get a fifteen hundred dollar a month cash flow. If I buy that, I don't have that much money, so I have to buy the seventeen hundred dollars. So a uh, seventeen thousand dollars, which gives me a seventeen hundred dollar a month flow. So it's going to be I'm losing two hundred dollars a month. So let's pass on that. That's a little too much. I don't like to go into negative cash flow situations. Let's go back again. Try a big opportunity here. Okay, now this one is $50,000, but it's $2,800 a month. Now this is worth that because look at the difference here. I'm still borrowing $17,000. I'm still having a $1,700 a month payment. But now I'm making $2,800 a month, so there's a positive cash flow there. So there's where waiting for the right deal sometimes pays off. So landed on a payday, so I'm just going to roll again. Uh, now I'm back down to $3,000 in cash, so I'm going to do a small deal. Uh, onto you stock is at $40. I paid $10 a share for it, and I got 100 shares, so let's sell that. Uh, that's going to give me $4,000. bucks. Now I'm at seven thousand dollars here. Let's let's go to a small deal again. This is zero down and a negative cash flow, uh, a negative hundred dollars a month cash flow for a fifty thousand dollar house. That sounds kind of crazy to do, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this, and the reason is I've got the money. I've got I can afford to lose the hundred dollars a month, but I'm going to get a, an asset worth fifty thousand dollars. For nothing it's going to cost me a hundred dollars a month uh, but it's not going to cost me anything out of pocket which is going to be a good deal and at some point there you're going to get a land on a card and you'll see you know, what happens. you're going to land on a card looking for a buyer for a house and I'm going to sell that house and make money so um, or at least that's my hope we get a small deal reverse split now a reverse split is when you go two for one uh, I don't own that stock so or one for two, I mean. Uh, let's see, I don't own that stock, so it didn't affect me. Let's roll here. Uh, let's go small deal opportunity. Okay, this is one dollar. Uh, that's a stock that I already own, and I own uh, at, at ten dollars, and it went down to one. So, uh, so what do I want to do? Let's buy more. <laughs> and I'm crazy, right? So let's buy more. Let's buy. Heck, let's buy. Uh, let's get crazy. Let's buy, let's buy 5,000 shares for $5,000. Small deal opportunity. Start a company part-time, $3,000, zero cash flow. Um, no problem, uh, no profits during startup, long hours, no extra pay. I'm going to do that. That may pay off at some point. We just, you just have to buy some things like that. Uh, donate to charity. Uh, we can do that. It's going to give us the dice rolls. We're going to do a small deal again. A uh, split two for one means you're going to double the amount of shares you have. And this is the only stock I own right now. I have 5,000 shares, uh, or 5,100 shares actually. So I'm going to double the amount of shares I have. So I'm going to say okay on that. Of course, I don't have a choice. It's going to give me that no matter what. But if you go back and look, now I've got 10,000 shares plus 200 shares. So, uh, so I double my. I sure that let's hope that does something. <laughs> so roll the dice again. Small deal opportunity. The on to you is up to thirty dollars a share. I'm gonna pass on that. Roll the dice again. Car wash buyer. I do not have any car washes, so I don't that doesn't affect me. And let's see, in the intern, roll the dice. Lunch with friends, forty dollars, and uh, roll the dice. Another child and deal, roll the dice. Okay, now I'm gonna go to a big deal opportunity. I've got a bunch of cash. 
uh, $20,000 to get $400 return on a fourplex. Uh, I'm going to do it. It's going to cause me to have a little bit of a loan, but not a big deal. So I'm going to buy it. Uh, okay, that kicked me out of the rat race. Okay, what you're trying to do, as long as you get a, right here, your salary, you get past that in passive income, then you're going to get out of that rat race. And that's what it did for me. So now I'm out of the rat race. So the game changes a little bit. Now we get into the big player. Uh, and this is what happens in real life. When you get into the, the, the cash flow world, you get start doing just big deals, basically. And so now you're starting out with $419,000 in cash, and you have the opportunity to buy stuff. And so I'm going to have an opportunity here. Quick Food Mart, it's $5,000 a month cash flow, 50% cash on cash return. So that means if, if I buy this for $120,000, I'm going to get a cash flow of $5,000 a month. So I'm going to do that. I have 419000 so let's buy that. Roll the dice. Okay, here's the other deal. A truck parts maker. $5,000 cash, 40% cash on cash return. $150,000 cost, $5,000 cash flow. I've got $150,000, so let's do it. Roll on. Buy a gold mine. Okay, this is $150,000. Uh, which I do have, and it gives me $25,000 a month. I'm going to buy it. Roll on. Run for mayor. That is a dream, and it's someone else's dream. And because I landed on it, the, if they land on it, they have to pay 100% more to buy it. So remember, if I land on my dream, which is the cabin down here at the bottom, then I can buy that if I've got the cash. If I don't have the cash, I have to get to $50,000 a month in passive income. Either way, that's what makes me win the game. So that's what I'm trying to do at this point. Right now, um, I'm, I'm slowly building my passive income and getting to where I need to be. So, uh, Beauty salon here, ten thousand dollars a month cash flow, forty-eight percent cash on cash return, two hundred fifty thousand gets you a ten thousand dollars a month cash flow. I'm gonna buy it. Roll on. This is someone else's dream. I'm gonna pass. And roll on. Dinner with the president, um, and uh, this is someone else's dream. I'm gonna pass that. Uh, the green ones, you're probably almost every one of them gonna be worth doing. This is someone else's dream. Pass. Move on. Jet setters. Someone else's dream. Move on. Someone else's dream. Move on. And same thing. Move on. Now I passed. I'm, I'm passing these cash flow points. So you can see as I'm passing, I'm building up huge amount of cash flow. Um, pass. Okay, here's a restaurant chain, $14,000 cash flow, 56% uh, cash on cash, $300,000, I'm going to buy it, make $14,000 a month, roll, someone else's dream, move on, someone else's dream, move on, park, move on, it's another dream, okay, here's an auto repair shop, I can buy $6,000 a month cash flow, it costs $150,000, I'm going to do it. Finish my turn. Landed on another payday. Finish my turn. Someone else's dream. Roll on. Someone else's dream. Roll on. Same thing. Every time I land on these people's dream, it goes up by 100% for them. So it's making it harder for get harder for them to get to their dream. So. so Of course, I'm not playing against anybody for real right now, so it doesn't really matter. But as you can see on these, now here's one, uh, heat, heat and air, uh, $10,000 a month cash flow for $200,000 a month, uh, $200,000. Uh, I'm going to buy that, of course. And so with that purchase, I have won the game. Now, I didn't, I wasn't able to buy my dream because I never landed on that space. But I did meet the uh, income goal of $469,000. That's the other way you can win the game. You either meet the income, passive income goal, or you uh, buy your dream. Either way. 
Now, one of the things I really like about this game is it's fairly realistic. Because when you look at these cards that tell tell you what the opportunity is, it gives you the cash flow, the amount you're going to put down, and how much the property is, and all that. Those are things that we really look at. Those are the kind of numbers that we look at. We look at uh, what is going to be the cash flow. Is it going to be negative? Is it going to be positive? Uh, how do we think we're going to get our money back? Is it by selling the property, or is it by are we going to make money by renting the property? And even in this game, and I didn't see it too often in here that on this particular one, but you do have opportunities to sell properties that you own for a profit. And then when you sell them, of course, you lose the rent income from them, which is what happens in the real world. But you gain the cash, which may allow you to buy into a bigger deal that makes more passive income and that's what I've done uh, I actually one of the bigger deals in the game is to buy a storage facility which is one of the things that we've done is we've bought a storage facility another thing that they uh, have an opportunity to do is buy car washes uh, my wife works in the car wash industry and she works for a regional car wash the car wash that she works for as a family owned business and the, they started out with a, uh, a small company uh, their own business they started buying rental properties. They sold out of their business and sold out of the rental properties and took that money and invested in car washes. And they have become very, very wealthy with that. Uh, we're talking tens of millions of dollars. Um, you know, they have uh, houses, big, huge house on the beach, a big house in the mountains. They have a private jet. I mean, and they're building huge houses on the lake here locally. So uh, they, they have plenty of money. And they did it very similar to how this game do, it works. They started small and just invested and then, you know, kept selling and buying and selling and buying until they got to the level that they're at now. So even though I'm not at the same level, uh, I have seen other people get to these high levels. And I can see from what I've done personally that I am getting... Uh, more income every year and I'm building more net worth every year and so by doing these things buying and selling and creating passive income all this stuff is helping me to get to my goals and so I think you can do that as well I think playing this game gives you an idea of how it works um, and has helps you understand the concepts of what what's going on uh, in the real world of investing so if you have a chance, play the game. It's very interesting. You should learn stuff. And um, if you also have the, even if you're playing by yourself, you won't always win because you can go bankrupt in the game. You can make bad deals and you can lose all your money and go bankrupt even when you're playing by yourself. So if you're interested in learning how to do investing, this game can help you learn the techniques and learn what we're doing as investors to make our money. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you know when we release new videos. And if you'd like more information on real estate investing, go to retirerichwithrealestate.com. Until next time, I'm Paul Price, teaching you how to retire rich with real estate.